So you live in a rental property, but you want to make it look like you genuinely want to live there. You want it to show your personal style, your own flair, and this character that does not seem to be in the space currently. Obviously, it can be quite difficult when you are living in a rental place because it's not something that is a forever home. But in this video, I'm going to give you five tips to make it at least feel that way. So tip number one is an area rug, especially if you have flooring that you do not like. So for me personally, I absolutely despise those like gray vinyl floors. And if you have something like that, cover it up. Just just cover it up. There's, there's nothing better that you can do. And you can go with anything that you really like. If you just want to cover it up, go with something simple and plain so then it feels like you've just got carpet on the floor. But if you want to have something that has a little bit more personality and ties in with the rest of the space, get something fun and exciting that's more towards your liking. For me, I really like Persian looking rugs. There's usually a lot of colors that you can pull out of them. And I just love that almost slight traditional aspect to it and tying it in with mid-century modern flares. So that's my personal style, but definitely have a look online because there is so many options these days. And even if you have pets or children, they have washable options these days, which is an absolute lifestyle saver if you're worried about them getting dirty. Tip number two is curtains. And now before you start going, Tej, I can't do that because it's going to put a hole in the wall. I know, hear me out. There is a way to get around putting a hole in the wall and it's called a no-no bracket. We are getting more and more of these really cool rental friendly options with lighting, curtains, peel and stick wallpaper, you name it, we're starting to get it because more and more people are renting. And this is one of those things where you do not need to put a hole in the wall to put in curtains. You can just literally plop it onto the curtain that's already there and then you've got perfect curtains straight away. And the reason I would recommend curtains is because usually the blinds that they give you, not very nice. They aren't very trendy, of course, but they also feel very structured. We want the space to feel soft and inviting usually, and we usually want the, our eyes to go up. And because usually blinds do not do that, having soft curtains can really help accentuate that aspect. I'm in actually a space that could definitely benefit for something like that because I've got high ceilings. So adding something like that in would make the room feel even grander and as if I've been here for a lot longer. Now, in terms of the types of curtains that you would like, that is up to you. Personally, I do like going with something that's more simple and goes with a more simple color palette. So if you've got a very neutral space, obviously like white curtains or white shears are absolutely the place to be. But if you wanted something that had a bit more of a statement, you can go with some really fun looking curtains and making your own homemade curtains aren't actually that difficult either. So if you want a challenge and you want to go to the thrift shop and get something really truly unique, curtains are the way to do it. It's almost like having a art piece on your window. Tip number three is hardware. Now, the reason I really like the idea of changing out hardware is because it is something easy to do. You don't need to go ahead and stand there for hours painting a wall or anything like that. All you need is a screwdriver and maybe about 10 minutes of your time to switch things out to something that you prefer. And the thing that I really love about hardware is that you can really mix and match things. You can get really creative with it. I remember I went to this design show. They actually had hardware that was based on animals and they were so cute. Not my personal style. I wouldn't use them, but I think they would be so unique for someone that really loved animals and wanted to reflect that in their own home. Because I know that I'm not the only one, but I love watching those transformation videos where they show the original rental space and the after. And all I can think about is how annoying it's going to be when the end of the lease comes and you have to change it all back. So I'm really trying to focus on things that are easy actually to install and for you to be able to switch it out quite comfortably while still adding you in. And hardware is certainly one of those ways to do that. Tip number four is gallery walls and art. Now I know you're about to say, Tash, didn't you just say that you wanted to make this easy? I'm gonna have to repaint the walls after putting holes in it. Wait, wait. Having a really nice gallery wall is going to make the space feel like you actually live in it. There's nothing worse than having all these blank walls around you with nothing there to inspire you, nothing there to say that this is who this person is. It's not enough just to have the, like a coffee table and a couch. You need to have art in a space because that reflects your personality. Now you may not be able to see this one quite well, but the paintings here, 
Those are mine. I've painted them and I fully intend to decorate the space with as many paintings as physically possible. Of course, you don't have to paint all of your own things. You can go to the thrift shop and find cool pieces of artwork or go online. There are so many resources for it. And there's a lot of ways for you to hang it up these days as well. You can obviously use command strips, which are pretty popular, or you can do the El Cheapo way, which is to use a thumbtack or two and pop them in the wall. And when you have to leave, you obviously take them down. And if there is a hole in the wall or anything like that, you just use like a little bit of toothpaste or Spax or whatever it is to cover it up and make it look new again. Honestly, I know that this is probably one of those ones where it's like, okay, there's probably a little bit more work into putting it up, taking it down and everything, but it is very, very worth it. And finally, tip number five is lighting. Now this one may be the most important one, but obviously the hardest one to actually achieve. We have all probably got a boob light or two in our spaces, and I am not recommending to change that out because as I just said, we wanna make this simple. We wanna make this easy. So what do we do instead? We go ahead and scatter lighting everywhere in our home. Of course, you can have cool things like a, whatever that's called. Yep, I don't know what it's called. Doesn't matter. You can have cool overhead arch lights. You can have table lamps. There are so many different ways to add lighting into a space. And those are the things that are gonna make the space feel cozy and inviting. Because if you're only using your down lights, sure, it might be good when you're in the kitchen and you're needing to have excess amount of light to make the space lit properly so you can actually cook. But when you are wanting to relax at night, there is nothing worse than having overhead lighting. And there have been studies showing that having overhead lighting makes it harder for us to go to sleep at night. So definitely do not skip out on adding lighting. The way that I like to think about it is to have three levels. So you've obviously got your top level, which is usually your uh, canned lighting, your built-in lighting, whatever you want to call it. That's usually on the ceiling. Then you have the middle level, which will be, you know, usually at table lamp sort of level. And then you'll have floor. You can obviously vary between all those three. I like to go ahead and have another one that's in between the ceiling and the table lamp. So it's about here and then have a table lamp. And then if you're feeling extra cool and very vibey and wanting to add some lower lighting, have something that's small that lights from the ground. And those can look really fun and they definitely light up the space very differently to what we're used to, especially with overhead lighting. Those five tips are going to really transform your space to actually make it feel like you live there. Now, of course, you do need to add in furniture that you love. You do need to go on Facebook Marketplace and find things that genuinely spark joy into your home. But I hope that these five tips give you some indications as to those smaller things that genuinely make a space feel like you, rather than those big and more obvious things that may potentially end up damaging the space. And especially with peel and stick wallpaper, if the landlord has not painted the space correctly, which let's be honest, they usually don't, you could easily end up pulling off that layer of paint that it was meant to not pull off. And then you have to try and fix that in a short amount of time while you're also moving. So these tips are meant to mitigate that sort of thing and give you that opportunity to make it your own without all of those worries and hassles. If you have any other tips, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll see you on our next design adventure.